Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Frank from Brawl Stars. We're going to get started at the top of our page with a line that goes across from left to right for the brow. So we start on the outside and draw a straight line going across. Now from here we're going to draw the eyes and underneath the brow. So it's almost like a half circle starting on the left side. Start on the outside we're going to curve down and then back up. Leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. Now let's thicken up the eyelid. We're going to step in and just trace this around the inside and we'll fill that in black. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to draw two long ovals in the center. Start on the left, we're going to come down, round it out and pull it back up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's draw on the nose. From the inside edge of the right eye, we're going to come down with a straight line. We're going to go across towards the left. Now we're going to add the nostril. We're just going to draw a hook going up and then in. Along the top on the left side, we're going to draw a short line coming down. Now let's add in the eyebrows. On the inside of the left eye, we're going to draw a straight line going up. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to draw a slight curve coming down towards the outside. We're going to go out towards the left. Now we're going to come straight down on top of the outside of the left eye. Directly below the nose, we're going to leave a little gap, draw a short line coming down. Now let's add in the mouth. We're going to start with a curve from left to right, going up and then back down. Now let's draw in the lower part of the mouth. We're going to connect these two points with a curve coming down and then up. Let's add in the teeth. In the center, we're going to draw a straight line coming down. Now we're going to move to the side and draw another line. Let's go to the outside and draw in the cheeks. From the edge of the brow, we're going to come straight down with a short line on either side. Now we want to angle down and in. Now we're going to come straight down just past the lower edge of the mouth. Now we're going to connect these two points with the lower chin, coming down and then back up. Let's add in the side of the jaw. From the corner of the cheek, we're going to step in, draw a straight line coming down. Now we're going to angle down towards the corner of the chin. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's move up and draw on the top of the head. We're going to extend this line going up towards the top of the head. Now let's close it off with a curve, starting from the left, curve up in the middle, and then back down on the right. Along the top, we're going to add a zigzag for the hair. Starting in the center, start with a point. Now from this point, we're going to angle up and out toward the left and right. Now we're going to come down the sides. And then we're going to go back up. We're going to work our way out towards the outside of the head. Come down one more time. And then we'll just pull that up towards the side of the head. Let's add the rivets to the side of the head. We're going to start just above the brow, go out with a straight line. Now we're going to come down just below the cheek, go out. Now we're going to connect these two points with a curve. We're going to leave a notch on the end, so a little gap about halfway through. Now we're going to close this off by taking these two points, drawing two short lines coming in, and then a straight line coming down. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Let's line at the top of the rivet, a straight line, go down towards the bottom. Now again, we're going to connect these two points with a curve, but we're going to leave a gap in the middle. And we'll add that notch. Two lines coming in, and then closing it off with a straight line. Now let's add in the shoulders. Just below the rivet, we're going to curve out and then down. Now we're going to add a torn edge along the sleeve. Starting from the left side, we're going to angle in, and then angle back out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming in, and then out. And we're going to do that one more time. Coming in, and out. And then from here, we're going to curve down and in towards the hip with a short curve. Let's close off the bottom with a curve. Starting from the left side, we'll curve down, and then back up on the right. Now in the center of the body, we're going to add the tie. Just below the chin, we're going to start on the left side, we're going to curve up, 
and then down. Now on the left side, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a straight line going across. Let's draw on the top of the tie. From the top corner, we're gonna curve up underneath the head on both sides. And then in the center, we're gonna draw a straight line going up towards the chin. Now let's draw on the bottom of the tie. From the bottom corners, we're gonna angle down and out on either side. Then we're gonna come back in, just tapering that line. Now we're gonna add two more points along the bottom. We're gonna come straight down. Now we'll come up towards the center point on the left and then the right. Let's continue working down the legs. So in the center, we're gonna step all the way down, start with a curve from left to right going up and then down. Now we're gonna draw the inside edge of the shorts. From the center, we're gonna step over towards the left, angle down and out towards the left, move over to the right, go down and out towards the right. Now we're gonna add a torn edge along the bottom of the pant. Starting on the left, we're gonna go up and out, and then we'll come back down. Do the same thing on the right. It's almost like an upside down V. We're gonna do that one more time. Going up and out, and then coming down. Now we're gonna go back up to the hip, curve out the side of the leg. Starting from the hip, we're gonna curve out, and then straight down towards that bottom point. Let's add in the legs. From the inside point, we're gonna step out, curve out, and down towards the heel on the left, and then the right. Now we wanna round out the bottom of the feet. From heel to toe, we're gonna curve down and up, and we'll do the same thing on the right, making sure that they're at the same length. Now let's square off the toe, going up with a short line on both sides. Now we're gonna come up and in with an angle, going up towards the ankle. Now we're gonna curve in, just on the inside of that point. Go up and then in. There's a little overlap on the outside of the pant. Now at the bottom of the foot, we're gonna add three lines for the toes. So we're gonna step in, draw one line, step over, two, and then three. Now at the top of these lines, we're just gonna angle up and in with a short line for the top of the toes. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the outside, draw one, two, three, and then we'll angle these up and in. Now let's go back up and draw on the arms. I'm gonna start with the one on the left side. This arm's gonna be hanging down. So we start with a torn edge of the shirt underneath. From this top point of the shoulder, we're gonna step down, angle down and out. Now we're gonna add that torn edge. Angle in, go back out, in, out. Now I just wanna pull this in towards the side of the body. Let's draw on the inside edge of the arm. Starting from the bottom of the shirt, curve out and then down. Now right here we're gonna add the thumb. So a half circle going around and back out. And at the end of the thumb, we're gonna draw a bracket. Now let's add in the fingers. At the bottom curve of the thumb, we're gonna come straight down towards the first finger, go across, and then we'll pull that up. And we just wanna stagger the fingers going upward. So about halfway down this line, go out the second finger, up with a short line. Do that two more times. Going out, and then up, and one final time going out. Now from here we're gonna go up towards the elbow. Start with a straight line going up, and I'm just gonna curve that in about halfway up the arm. And we'll draw on the top of the arm, curving in behind the shirt. Coming in with a curve, so there's a little overlap on the inside. Now let's move over to the right side. This arm is gonna be bent holding the hammer. So we start with the torn edge of the shirt first. So up on the shoulder, we're gonna draw a straight line going across. Then we're gonna draw that torn edge. Coming down and in, go out, in, out one more time. Now we're just gonna pull that in behind the body. Now right here is where the arm bends upward. So we're gonna draw a curve. From here we're gonna step in, curve into that point, and then up. We're gonna round out the thumb, curve across towards the tip of the thumb. Now I'm just gonna pull that back in. Let's add in the palm. Let's draw a hook coming in and down. Now we're gonna add four ovals tucked in behind this thumb for the fingers. Starting on top of the thumb, draw a half oval going up and then down. And then we'll draw that again, going up, down. Now we're gonna pull this in behind the tip of the thumb. Do that two more times, going up, rounding up the finger and then in 
and then one final time. From the bottom of this finger, we're gonna curve the forearm, coming down, I'm just gonna curve that in towards the elbow, and we're gonna pull this in behind the body. So we're gonna come down, and then across. Now let's add the handle of the hammer going across in behind the fingers. We're gonna start beside the head, go across with a straight line in behind the finger, and we're just gonna pull it out just a little bit on the outside. Let's step down and draw that again, going in behind the thumb, continuing out past the finger. We'll connect these two points with a curve, going out and then back in. Now the hammer is gonna be sitting on top of the shoulder on the left side. So let's start with the top edge of the hammer. Starting up here on top of the head on the left, we'll go up with a short line, and we'll go out with a straight line. Now we're gonna draw the top curve. It's almost like a half circle, going up, we're gonna round this out, and then pull that down towards the same height as we have on the inside go out with a straight line. Now let's draw on the outside of the hammer. Come straight down to right about there. And we're gonna pull that in towards the head with a straight line. Now we wanna draw on the top edge of the hammer. Starting from this corner, we're gonna angle down and out towards the left. Now we're gonna come in with a short line. We're gonna add a notch right here. We're gonna add a V and then continue that line going in behind the head. We'll add the bottom of the hammer. From this bottom corner, we'll come straight down towards the bottom. Now again, we're gonna pull this straight in behind the body. Now let's go back up to this notch. From that inside corner, we go up towards that line. We'll go to the outside, we're gonna angle up towards the top point. Now we wanna give this hammer a little bit of depth. So we're gonna start with this corner out here. Start with an angle line going in behind this curve. Now we do the same thing with the top, going out and up towards the right. We take that same length line, starting from this point, draw that same line, and then from the top right corner, we'll go out, so they're matching in height. Now let's connect these two points with a straight line going across. We'll come down in behind the head. Now let's go back up to the top here. We're gonna curve around and then down towards this point. Now we're gonna add that detail to the hammer. We're gonna start with a circle at the top here. So starting from the middle, we'll draw in that circle. And then we're gonna add that skull symbol. We're gonna start with a circle with a gap along the bottom. So about halfway up the circle, we're gonna go around, and then back in. Now we're gonna draw two curves. Starting on the left, we'll curve down and up the middle. Curve down again, up towards the right side. And we wanna add two X's on the left, and then the right. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Frank from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.